Patrick Nash might have a new home. Been a tough gig trying to get a game in the best team in the country. And he's played nine games in three seasons at Tigerland. And he's probably headed elsewhere. Patrick, welcome to the program. We appreciate your time. Thanks for coming on. G'day, boys. Thanks for having me. Um, how are you looking? Have you had some contact? Um, yeah, I've spoken. Me and my manager have obviously worked worked through it a bit. Um, it's probably helped um, that the Tigers obviously delisted me a bit earlier. So I've had more time to have those conversations um, with clubs and my manager. So, um, yeah, I guess I've had a little bit. But, yeah, still fingers crossed. How does the experience finish for you at, at Richmond? Obviously, very successful period. It would have been a bit frustrating for you to be just on the outside looking in and obviously the son of a former club great makes it a little bit more difficult for you? Yeah, obviously, um, my time at Richmond was very enjoyable. Um, I had a, had a good experience there, learnt a lot. Um, but, yeah, obviously, it was, was frustrating watching the boys um, play every week and you... Probably a bit on the outer, as you mentioned, but um, as, as a whole, the experience was, yeah, one that um, I loved and I loved my time at Richmond, but um, obviously pretty keen to get another crack somewhere else, yeah. What tr- what little tricks or traits would you take from Richmond to the next club with your next opportunity? I mean, you would have learned from some of the absolute best the game seen in Dustin Martin and Jack Rewalt and Trent Koch and these guys. What What sort of, what learnings do you take? Um, probably just their their off and on field attitude. Um, as you mentioned, some of the boys there they're both um, unbelievable leaders and um, blokes who I love playing under and playing with. Um, probably their leadership and how professional they were on and off the field. Um, and yeah, just how open they were with with all the boys. I think it's pretty well documented the culture shift um, that Dimmer and Kochi brought in, um, and just and just being open and honest with everyone and. Um, yeah, that, that's probably the main thing I've learned um, coming out of Richmond, yeah. How does the sell start from other clubs to come and acquire your services? Because obviously there's a few clubs still sniffing around the edges. How does how do they start? What's the starting point? There's opportunity here to play or there's a position here for you or you're a good fit for X, Y and Z. How does it start? Um, probably the conversation I've, I've sort of tend to had is more more the what, what, why, what happened to Richmond. Um, so that, that conversation came about. Then Richmond were pretty open to me and they were pretty transparent with, with what was going on all year. Um, and, yeah, the, the conversation just say, well, look, we're probably lacking in a certain area of my game that I, that I, may, that I may have. Um, so for me, that'd be my running and kicking ability. Um, so, yeah, conversations like that can sort of start happening. Um, and that's probably, yeah, how it's kicked off. So you feel there's another opportunity around the corner... It's always fascinates me. I find it difficult to talk to guys that, in one way, have been delisted but are looking for another opportunity. Do you feel that it's easier with the current um, mannerisms in which you can just go as a delisted free agent, in effect, to to choose your own club? Is that is it a little bit easier the system now? Um, I'm not. I'm not sure whether it's easier. I, th- I still think you need a club to really buy into you and um, really say, "Hey, we we've got a list spot for you." Um, whether whether I get that, whether I don't, um, I'm as I said, pretty hungry to get another spot. Um, yeah, I don't know whether it's it's easier, but um, I guess I'm not seeing it as I've been delisted. I sort of see it as all right, the Richmond doors are closed. Where can I go somewhere else to, you know, fulfil my con- continue to fulfil my AFL dream and playing playing consistent AFL footy? Um, so yeah, that's probably the best way to answer that question. So were there times in the last couple of years where you felt I should be in this team? I'm good enough. I'm, I'm in good enough form, and um, for some reason they're just not picking me when I think I should be in. Um, yeah, I think I think every AFL player who's not playing thinks that. Um, I, I felt my form of AFL level probably whether or not didn't want to be, didn't want to play, but I felt that I was playing good enough foot, footy of AFL. Um, and to be honest, Dim was pretty good with me all year. Just in terms of why I wasn't playing, um, what I needed to improve on, um, and yeah, I, I felt I did that, but um, it wasn't it wasn't to be in the end, and which, which I'm happy about. Um, and yeah, as I said, I'm pretty pretty keen to continue my AFL career. Um, but yeah, the club were great in just talking to me, and as I said, being pretty transparent in what they needed from me. And um, yeah, I felt, I felt like I still fulfilled that. Um, but yeah, as I said, I'm pretty keen to 
pretty keen to play good footy somewhere else, yeah. And how tough's the last couple of years been as a fringe player, not being able to play any or not much seconds footy? Yeah, it's, it's a weird one. Um, obviously, last year in Gold Coast, we were playing scratchies and sometimes we were playing, you know, 9v9s or 10v10s, um, which was pretty unique. And then this year, I, I think at the start, we sort of saw a bit of light at the end of the tunnel with a few more VSL games. But, um, yeah, it was it was unfortunate. But I guess that's the times we live in at the moment. It's uh, pretty difficult. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it was pretty tough at times. But, um, yeah, that's, yeah. A lot of love for you here on the text machine. People saying you dominated at uh, VFL level and just couldn't quite nail down that opportunity. So oh, just having a look at your, your old man. So I can't remember him going to Port Adelaide. Played 18 games at the end of his Richmond stint. Now, is that is that an opportunity to go over there mm. and actually play more games than your old man at Port Adelaide to just one-up him in, nice. in one area? He's a superstar player. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, if, if, Port, if Port wanted to give me that opportunity, buddy, I... Um, yeah, he um, doesn't really talk about the Port day as much. He says he enjoyed it, but he <laughs> preferred playing footy at the Tigers, I think, just, just with his form and his injuries and everything. Sounds like he stole some cash when he went over there. Is that, <laughs> is that, is that what you're getting to? Is that what you're saying? He, he basically went over there for a bit of superannuation? No, I'm, I'm not sure. He hasn't really told me. <laughs> <laughs> you're putting words in his mouth there. Yeah. If you're on the text saying you should come to the Pies, yes. uh, have they spoken to you or your manager at all, Patrick? Um. Well, I'm Geish is my manager has been pretty good with every club I've spoken to. Um, yeah, if it was the Pies, I'd obviously love to play there. Um, but at the same time, I'd love to play anywhere, that, to be honest, anywhere that's going to give me the opportunity. Um, yeah. When do you hope to know? What's the process like now? When do you hope to, if there is to be a, you know, a thumbs up, come and play with us, when would you, what would the timeline look like? Um, I'm still, yeah, I'm still, as I said, working through with my manager in what in what that timeline looks like. I think it it varies for different clubs in terms of their delistings and um, then signing me up and talking more contracts. Um, I think, yeah, it's probably it's probably different for all clubs. I think every club's in a different different situation in terms of their list and whether blokes are assigned or still not contracted yet. Um, so I think, yeah, it varies for different clubs in terms of my position. Um, yeah. As Kingy said, Patrick, a lot of love coming your way on the tech. So good luck with it all. Let's hope you do find a new home. You're still pretty young, 22 years of age. Got a lot of footy left yes. in you. So we'll talk soon. When you find your new club, uh, we'll give you a call. Beauty. Sounds good. Thanks for having me, boys. Patrick oh, yeah. Nace joining us. Nine games in three seasons, trying to get a game at the number one club in the country for the next last three years. Looking for a next opportunity.